Hello and welcome for the third part of our Kotlin basic tutorial. And in this tutorial, we'll look into how we can read information from the screen, from the user, from the console here, and use it to show it, for example, in the, uh, in, in again, we can ask the user for information and then interact with him. That's for first one, for the first thing we will do. The second thing we'll do is how we manage variables. Okay, so first of all, you can see I always look into tutorials on the web. It's very important. Kotlin has a huge database where we can with a huge catalog where we can find all kinds of explanation of how to do things. And it's very important you use this because nothing can be done only by watching one source. We have to learn how to use many sources. Okay, great. So we will use the la the function read line. Okay. Till now we only used one function called print ln, which prints the tag the elements inside the parentheses into the console. So we will continue printing hello world, but then we'll do another um an, another another line of print ln, and we'll ask the user yeah to enter a number, for example enter any number okay or, or enter any text let's say enter a text enter any text right. write any text and press enter okay so it can read it and we will use the function that we just see called read line. Now, if I start writing here, it will already offer me a number of functions that I can execute and that uh, the system has in its catalog. And the specific uh, the function that we want to use, which is read line, it offers me the first as a first uh, alternative, as a first suggestion. Now you will see that when we read this, you will see that in general, all functions start with an F in the left. As you can see there is an F here. Then the name of the function with the possible variables or expressions that he receives as an entry. In this case, we don't need to send anything to the function, not like the print ln, which had an entry a variable. In this case, there is no expression or anything to be sent. And the package to which he belongs, we will see in the future, and the returning data type. We will look about data types in the following, well, in the end of these tutorials and the following uh, tutorial. Data types are uh, the kind of, the, the type of data that we can use in Kotlin, okay? String is a text type, which means we can store, use text types, which are a bunch of letters together in one uh, variable, okay? What we'll do is read the line. It's this function. What it does, it stops the console here, down here, and waits for the for the user to enter something and press enter. To write something and press enter. Once it prints the enter, this function executes and gives us the text that the user just entered. That text right now, if I don't save it somewhere in a variable, in the case of assembly, we saved our data in registers, okay? But here we will save it in a variable. So the variable, we will call it variable input text, and we will make it equal to this, okay? Remember, two, some, some concepts about variables. You can call them however you want, and in many cases you have to, and you always have to put here the type in which the of the type of the variable okay uh, for now it's not you're not forced to put it but it's always good to put it for now let's leave it like that because in kotlin the variables are a bit uh, uh, they need some more explanation okay so what will happen is that when we get to the eighth line okay the read line will give us will save here we store in this variable yeah, the text that the user just entered. And now my what I wanna print in the screen is a message telling, so you just wrote two points like this, and then plus 
plus is to sum we can add yeah in kotlin text to an existing text like this so what will happen let's see what it's doing. what he's telling me what i'm doing here is that i'm printing this message and then i what we call it is concatenate we add this text to this text so the resulting uh, the resulting data will be um that you're just going to see this text together with what the user just entered up here okay let's try it so now he's there and he's waiting for me to write something and i'm going to write hi from ucgc and he will tell me so you just wrote hi from ucgc so looking at the result we can clearly see that what the program I, is doing is interacting with me the user or with the user that executed this app okay the second part here that i'm well that that's for that's all we're going to do in this part of the tutorial we let's the next part we'll talk about variables and data types so we know how to use these elements here these variables and and so on